It was the battle which became a byword for the monumental carnage of the First World War. A million lives were lost at the Somme in 1916, and the bodies of more than 72,000 Commonwealth troops were never recovered. British artist Rob Hurd has dedicated five years to creating a unique tribute to those men, a shrouded figure for each life lost. Until recently, he'd never been to the battlefield, and Breathless John Maguire went with him. For the first time, the shrouds of the Somme lie here on the ground in northern France that inspired them. And for the first time, the artist working with that inspiration is here. For five years, I've brought the Somme to my my uh, living room, um, and to uh, yeah, to actually be standing on this ground is um, it is an amazing feeling. The idea that we're standing on the soil that these men are actually in, you know, when I, I've dealt with dealt with it for so long, thinking about this this and the idea in some way of bringing them back from here in a form in a small way it's so positive it could easily you know people could think it was more but it's but it's not each figure deserves back home in somerset time. rob hurd creates each and every shroud by hand matching them to a name from the official record of those missing at the somme he came up with the idea while battling depression following a car crash and seeing images of the dead and wounded returning from afghanistan you ask the question why why are you doing this? Why, you know, with self-funding, with all, it's always been a struggle. But then days like this, you really do understand. You really do understand deep down what the point of this was. And these are just small figures. You know, it's nothing like the real thing, obviously. But I think once you do this, you do understand what all that effort and all that time and those years was for. Next month at Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park, there will be 72,396 the number of Commonwealth troops who died at the Somme, but whose bodies were never recovered. Their names, known to Rob, are immortalised in stone on the Teepval Memorial. These are obviously um, displayed with their comrades from their regiment, so I assume this is how they would have been on the day, you know, they would have been next to each other. And from the top you get a sense of the battlefield and its place in history. Right, if you look here you can actually see some German graffiti. Uh, during the Second World War, the Germans occupied uh, this area and some of them obviously came up the top. It was a sniper post, an observation post, and they've left their mark. Well, the Battle of the Somme, for many of us, has come to define the horrors of the First World War. And as you look out over the battlefields today, you see the cemeteries of the Commonwealth War Graves Commission almost on every corner. So it's a, a battlefield that still resonates with us, even today, a hundred years on. Rob lays one last shroud, an unknown warrior, on a flag that once draped a coffin returning from Afghanistan. His is a mammoth task, creating 200 figures a day, yet another number. But his work turns these numbers into lives, giving them a human form, helping us to at least try to make sense out of so much senselessness. John Maguire, BBC News, at the Somme Battlefield. Really moving images, those, aren't they? It's quite something.